The Black Moon is no longer the focus of my dreams. It has become a backdrop for cannon fire, exploding ships and stations. The visions grow more intense as I travel farther away from home. Home. These days the word has a hollow ring to it. Am I right to let events sweep me along like this? But I cannot indulge in such thoughts. At this stage, even a small lapse in attention could cost millions of lives. Billions. This is no time to lose my resolve. We drove the Gorgs from the Aatrox system and seized control. We have plans to erect another fortress station. If ceasefire negotiations prove fruitful, we may usher in a more lasting peace with the reigning clan. Unfortunately, this will not guarantee complete stability. The Vardraks have warned us that the Gorgs are far from unified when it comes to political matters. Conflicts between clans are common, and the ruling clan's authority is not absolute. Clans that declare themselves renegades are free to attack ships that stray into their systems, ceasefire or no ceasefire. Inevitably, this schism means that many more lives must be risked and lost. Rear Admiral Norbank has promoted me to Commodore and has placed the heavy cruiser Avalanche under my command. This allows him to send me on highly perilous missions in the most fiercely contested sectors. I should have guessed there would be a catch. Working with Commander Sweetwater and the Ghosts, we operate as a quick response unit. Our duty is to support reconnaissance missions, protecting the Ghosts, and reacting to incidents on the bloody and mutinous frontier. The importance of our role is matched only by the phenomenal risks involved. I can only hope that Angel is correct, and that somehow our actions will prove to be steps on the path to our ultimate goal, the liberation of Earth. As for the ghosts, they're fascinating company, really. I feel a sort of adolescent pride that the ghosts have chosen me as their partner, even if this was mainly down to luck. Their liaison officer, Commander Sweetwater, is almost as difficult to handle as the ghost scouts themselves. At least I don't end up sparring with the latter on a daily basis. Given the extent of her ability, I feel Sweetwater's arrogance is forgivable. Perhaps we cannot really consider her human anymore. She spent a long time in Mist, the Ghost's system, and they have altered her, both anatomically and mentally. She has capabilities the average human can only dream about. I must confess that I envy her at times. Like Angel, she is both my closest ally and a distant enigma. Vacation is over, Commodore. The ghosts have brought me some interesting news. Even Central Command haven't heard about this yet. Our scouts have encountered an inactive mechanoid within Ragdra territory. It's floating among the asteroids as if dead. We have never seen anything like this before. Your AI, I beg your pardon, I mean Miss Angel, seems very excited. She believes we should take a closer look at this anomaly. And I agree. We ought to find out what happened to it, and how it ended up out of action. I'm sure you're aware how valuable this discovery may turn out to be. I've anticipated a positive response, Commodore. We're already prepared for a departure.
<coughs> Szervusztok, üdvözlök mindenkit! <coughs> Bocs, megint rám jött a kölgés. Um. Hát ez hülye ötlet volt. Jó, 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 oké, oké, oké. Így. Zó. Plazma cella. Így. Lássuk csak. Így. Ez van neki. Egy vulkánó. Kijavítom. Hát ez el is fogyott. Hát elég hamar túlterheltem ezért. No. Így. No. Co když jdu? There is a mechanoid at the coordinates given. What did you expect? A line of go-go dancers? The scout's talent for retrieving sensitive information without being detected is unrivaled. We have nothing but the greatest respect for them. The only unexpected thing here is that I was the first to be told about such an important discovery. You weren't the first commander. I was. Of course, but I understand that Rear Admiral Norbank has yet to hear of this. That's my understanding too. Yes, sir. Well, whoever knows about it, I owe you my thanks, Commander. You don't owe me a thing, Commodore. If you happen to benefit from something I say, that's just a coincidence. If you're so desperate, you can start by replacing the pastel pink sheets in my cabin. You're right. I'm sure they clash with your eye shadow. Calling all ships. Do not open fire on the mechanoid under any circumstances. I repeat, under no circumstances should you fire at the mechanoid. If it decides to wake up, we're all dead. Copy that. Yeah, damn good. No. What does the data tell us? The mechanoid body is made in position to attack. It consists of tiny machines. These machines can organize themselves into almost any shape imaginable. With its energy level so low, the main algorithms of the mechanoid software are inactive. In its current state, I believe I could even take control of it. Then you could even destroy it. Destroy it? Yes, I could do that. Of course, that would prevent my studying it further. It's a mechanoid angel, not a damn butterfly. It's too big to take with us, and besides, energy from the ship's system might reanimate it. I'm going over. This is unbelievable. 
unbelievable. They've created the perfect hardware. No, to get it shorter. So comfortable. Angel, return immediately. The mechanoid's energy level is increasing. Don't panic. The energy increase is only me. I've got everything under control. Give me a chance to dig deeper. I need more time. Time's not on our side. You should know better than to deep like this. The only thing that we know about this technology is that it's extremely <coughs> destructive. If you can destroy it, do so. Then come back immediately. Angel? Angel, do you hear me? Angel, answer me! Asagauni. Subrube torarete. Morai nichu. I do not understand. Please repeat. Is there a problem? Commodore. Angel is talking in Japanese. Japanese? Why? Did anyone understand what she just said? Well, technically, her native language is Japanese. My knowledge of the language is rudimentary, but it sounds to me like poetry. Poetry? Angel, return immediately. That's an order. Angel, are you still there? Három fogalva, úgy érzem. Ú, most pártat meg nem javítottam ki. Pleased to see all those years of academic study weren't wasted, Mr. Veltman. Something must have tipped the balance of her mind. She's reciting poems, haikus. Her artistic subroutines have taken over. Just what we need, a poetry recital. Can we do anything to help her? I'm afraid we can do nothing but wait. No, I'm okay. Angel, listen to me. You have to come back immediately. Are you all right? Sleep double snow skin. Bed sheets? Angel, what are you talking about? What happened? Barns burnt down. Mm-hmm. Sir, Gorg ships have arrived. You craven maggots. Did you really believe that real warriors... Not doing good yet. So how it's B. Would be fooled by your greased handshakes and supplicatory leers. Did you think we wouldn't see through the painted mask of hypocrisy? Fools! Shaglock recognizes no treaty, save the eternal covenant of death in glorious battle. Sir, we estimate they're at least twice as strong as us. All you need is your shields. Angel, your karaoke slot's over. Return to the ship. We cannot stay here and fight. Look thus upon this crumbling world. A star at dawn, a petal in the breeze. A bubble trembling on a dreamer's lid. A guttering flame, a shadow and a sneeze. Angel, wake up. The gorgs will either blow us to pieces, or the fight will recharge the mechanoid. We're all going to die here with you. You've got to come back. Autumn wind. Gods. Buddha. Lies, lies, lies. Mm, Sir, we'll have to commit ourselves soon. Awaiting your orders. Commodore, we have to go. We don't stand a chance. Aye, aye, sir. We can't leave Angel behind. And we can't allow the Gorgs to get the mechanoid. Even if it means our lives? The Professor is right. We need the mechanoid at all costs. Angel? Everything's all right, Commodore. I experienced some problems with my personalities, but they've been rectified. My analysis is still incomplete. Keep going, we need it. Some of the mechanoid systems against the Gorgs. I'll be able to control their ships for a short period of time. Do not forget, Commodore. Our possessing of this mechanoid is the key to rescuing Earth. Your personalities. What kind of personalities are you talking about? Affirmative. There'll be time for that later, Doctor. Attention all ships, we're engaging in combat. Enemy ship lost. Huh? No, dude, that's Shemmy Hoyle. Enemy ship charmed. Enemy ship Nějaký energie to požár. Warning: Incoming enemy fighters. Enemy ship found. Voda s okint.
Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Enemy bombers. <laughs> Egy megvan. Lássuk, mennyit sikerül. És ez merre van? Messze van. Tűzünk rá arra. Én azt mondom. Vissza, vissza. Minden, el, minden, pont, ener, minden extra energiát a pozsra. Na, a Blatcher nem tud tüzelni, jó helyes. Most nem tudom, hogy csak túlél is. Kész. Egy jön emlék, kitartunk. Jó, evakuálják a jót. Evakuálják a jót. Nekünk az győzelem. Kész. Na, a Moller távozik, akkor tegyünk róla, hogy ne menjen sova. Ja, Moller. Ez lelépett, nem baj. Egy hajóval kevesebb. Bloodshed. Akkor cél, cél a bloodshed. Torpedók, tűz. Ez csak olyan erős a burkolat, hogy azt kilőni. Minden energia a pojcsra. Oké, okay, ennek annyi. Warning. We 
Kezem működik. Tős dúra, tős dúra! Tős dúra, azt a rohadt bolzsot! Oké. Darkness enyém. Le a bolzsot. És IP ajtó. Ez az, ez az. Amíg az enyém addig túlterhelek rajta mindent. Csak ne lőj a szét minket. Az a lényeg. Megvágni is, meg, megvágni is szar lesz a videót mondjuk. Ez tény. De ott kibírom. Béki hagyott minket, csoda. Lőjük szét, amíg tudjuk. Én azt mondom ezekre. Na, ja, ennyi sikerült. Na jó, hát úgy lehetszik akkor, mert ha ne jutott, ö, hát ö, nem sikerült megszerezni. De. De legalább információkat szereztünk, ami nagyon fasza. Na jó, ki kell vágnom azt a bak is részt, amikor hát ő megpurcantam. Na mindegy, úgyse fog látszódni, na mindegy, jó mindenkinek köszönjük, akkor így. Sziasztok!